Hello. I'm going to talk about um, a Twitter study of ADHD using Mojday. So I'm going to talk about uh, the ADHD study in detail and I'm going to explain the methods a little bit as well. And this project used the Mojday social web data analysis software and thematic analysis and another technique, a new technique called word association thematic analysis. So the rationale for the study well, social media, um, including Twitter and many other sites, can be used by people to share their personal experience of their medical condition, to post in public about what's going on with them or what they'd like to say about what's going on with them. So analysing tweets, these public tweets, might give new insights into the patient perspective. So perhaps different insights to what patients would give if they're interviewed or part of a focus group, for example. And that's because something like Twitter can fit into the daily life of a person. So it might have specific re uh, reasons for use. And this study focuses on ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which is a very common behavioural condition and it affects school and life. Um, it seems to particularly affect young people, but it does sometimes also persist into adult life and is characterised by inattention or hyperactivity and impulsiveness. This study analysed tweets from people that claim to have ADHD. So we didn't check to see if anyone was diagnosed with ADHD. We essentially accepted at face value if people spoke as tweeted as if they had ADHD. So the data, we used the Twitter query, my ADHD in quotes to get from tweets from people claiming to have ADHD. So we tried first just searching for ADHD on its own and that got tweets about ADHD from a wide variety of sources and probably a, a small minority were from people who had the ADHD or thought they had ADHD. But when we searched for the phrase, my ADHD, we got many fewer tweets, but nearly all of them seemed to be from people who thought they had ADHD. So the minority that weren't from people with ADHD were jokes about ADHD, or seemed to be jokes about ADHD from people that m might not have had it. But it was an effective way of getting a lot of tweets from people that seemed to have ADHD. And we also generated a comparator set of tweets about 99 other common medical conditions with similar phrases, my ex, so my uh, spurges, for example. And we collected these tweets every 15 minutes using the free software Mojday between July 2019 and February 2020. And this produced, uh, after eliminating duplicates and near duplicates, nearly 59,000 tweets containing the phrase my ADHD. So we used two methods to analyze the tweets. Method number one was thematic analysis. We picked 200 tweets at random from the ADHD set and we had three different coders, the second, third and fourth authors of the paper, applying a reflexive thematic analysis to these tweets. So 200 was enough. For the thematic analysis and the objective was to, was to identify the main themes in ADHD tweeters tweets about ADHD so each person seemed to be someone with ADHD and the tweets were just tweets about ADHD so we didn't get tweets from people that had ADHD uh, that might not have been talking about ADHD they were just ADHD tweets so these coders applied the standard thematic analysis uh, method. So they read the tweets, they tagged them with themes, they organized the themes that, and then compared the themes between coders and then finally produced an agreed common set of themes as the output. Method two was a word association thematic analysis. I'll explain this in a little bit in a couple of slides. So first of all, 200 words were extracted that occurred in a higher percentage of ADHD tweets than the other conditioned tweets. 
So the study is based on words that are more used in ADHD tweets than in tweets about the 99 other conditions. And then we applied thematic analysis again to uh, these tweets. In fact, the words extracted from the tweets um, to find out which topics were discussed for ADHD more than for other conditions. And here's a diagram uh, showing all the stages of the analysis. So we split the medical tweets, the 100 medical condition tweets into the ADHD tweets and the remainder, the 99 other tweets. And then Moshde found 200 words that occurred more often in the ADHD tweets. This is called uh, the word association detection stage. Then after that, um, the word association contextualization stage, these words were read in the context of the tweets that they came from to identify the common context or meaning of the word. So some words can have multiple meanings and reading the context in which they're used tells you in this set data set what their meaning is, not just the meaning, but also their wider context. And then the thematic analysis stage organized the words into groups, each representing a different theme. So the last two stages are manual stages. Um, after the data collection and word association detection, automatic stages with Marsh Day. So the thematic analysis results. This produced a number of different themes. Uh, the first theme was the personal experience of ADHD. My ADHD feels like, for example, people might tweet about how their ADHD mixes with other conditions or how they felt on a particular day. Uh, theme two was managing ADHD. People talked about or tweeted about coping tools or mechanisms, their medication, uh, jokes to help them cope, or seeking various types of medical help. So the general theme is how the tweeters coped with their ADHD. And a third theme was understanding support and awareness of ADHD. Um, and remember, these, these are tweets by people with HD, ADHD uh, talking about these issues. And finally, there was a positive theme, embracing ADHD. Uh, for example, one tweet said something like, I'm running on my ADHD and joy. So there were uh, positive takes on ADHD, a lot of positive takes on ADHD from the tweeters. So these were the four themes from the main thematic analysis results. And then the word association thematic analysis results, this is a sample of them. Uh, one theme was my ADHD brain. And this resulted from phrases like my, DA, my ADHD brain and my ADAD, ADHD hell brain. And the common theme here was that tweeters distance themselves from their actions by referring to their brain as a separate entity or the ADHD part of their brain anyway as a separate entity and a separate thing. And the second theme, a positive theme, was the use of uh, the term neurodivergent and versions to discuss uh, the condition of someone with ADHD. So this is a positive uh, spin on it, on neuro neurodivergent. And a focus on the self compared to the other conditions was uh, notable for ADHD. And that seems to be because people with ADHD were frequently having to, or were frequently tweeting to explain what they'd done. And blame and causation were common themes in the ADHD tweets. Again, this is different from the other conditions, medical conditions. So because ADHD seems to be to an outsider, perhaps, uh, the the uh, free choice, ADHD behaviours might seem to be the free choices of people with ADHD, is important for people with ADHD to explain their actions and um, express the, the blame or the causation of what's going on. Also partly explaining what they did. And the brain focus in the tweets is not something that's specific to Twitter, but in fact is also the theme of uh, the, the ADHD brain 
is a theme that's picked up in some ADHD uh, magazines such as this one, Attitude, an online ADHD uh, magazine. And this article talks specifically about the ADHD brain and some medical literature also discusses the ADHD brain. So this idea has been taken up by people on Twitter, people with ADHD on Twitter. And this uh, diagram compares the uh, thematic analysis results on the left with uh, word association thematic analysis results on the right. And you can see that they overlap to a large extent, but not completely. So there are two themes that were only found by the thematic analysis and not by the other analysis. So coping tools and mechanisms and coping with humour. And there were seven themes that were found only by the word association thematic analysis. So we can see that the two different analyses give partly overlapping, but partly different results. So in conclusion, both methods gave insights into the ADHD perspective as expressed on Twitter. Uh, people with ADHD seem to tweet a lot to explain or justify their symptoms or their actions and uh, also to be positive about their ADHD condition and the neurodivergence concept seems to be the main one used to be positive about ADHD. And we saw that the two methods gave different information and the advantage of the word association thematic analysis is that it can be more fine grained and it can suggest new perspectives on the condition that you might not notice by reading the tweets themselves. Okay, so I hope that uh, gave a, a useful overview of this paper and please uh, read it if you're interested in the study or for more details of the methods as well. Okay, so thanks very much for listening.